Hello everybody, uh, my name is Jason. I'm going to be taking you through some of the basics for the level editor, the Proteus level editor. Uh, you'll notice up top here we have a toolbar. The first uh, section here is object type modes like moving, rotating, uh, scale, and object select. Uh, the next group will be what you can use to modify an object. So let's say we've got um, we've got a cube here and we want to edit its faces. One of the things that we do is, um, this is object mode, lets you select it. The next one is face mode, which allows you to select individual faces and drag them. Uh, the next one is edges, specific edges, allows you to like make a ramp or something like that. Uh, and the last one is verts, which is just the points here. Uh, this is more of an advanced uh, user type scenario, so try not to use vertexes unless you actually have to. Um, as a beginner, once you get comfortable with some of the basics, I would say go for it. Um, so the next uh, section here is just some of the object creation tools here. So we have draw box, and you can just stretch that up. We also have make a stair, so you can draw out another box here, and then just kind of raise that up, click again, and then you can kind of face it whichever direction. Afterwards, um, what it creates is what we call a builder brush, which isn't final um, just yet. You need to solidify it in what it's current form. You need to break it into a, what we call a, um, a mesh so uh, or into a brush. So what you would do is, once you're happy with its position and its size and its scale, uh, and you're thinking, okay, this is going to be good, and maybe you've tested it out in the game, go here to convert to brush, and now you can use verts, edges, that sort of thing. And you can apply materials to it directly on each of the individual faces. Uh, next, same thing, we have a cylinder tool and uh, what this one allows you, oops, what this one allows you to do is uh, create a cylinder, but uh, from once you're done with that and you have it in uh, builder brush mode, you can still stretch it and do some fun things with it, maybe make an arch and um, when you double click on it, it opens up the, in the property inspector and you can switch um, how many sides it has. Probably wouldn't go over 16 um, just because um, cylinders aren't really the aesthetic of the game, but you know, have fun with it. You know, no limits. <laughs> so 12 uh, might be something that we use here. And I will just do convert to brush. You can still do a bunch of stuff here, change the, sky, uh, the scale and the sizes and convert to brush and then you can edit the faces here uh, same thing and probably one of the better tools that we have for people that are maybe coming from some of the older mapping communities uh, we have a free draw tool called draw path and you can do a lot of stuff with this we use it for making clips and basically you just start to click and you kind of move around here and then when you connect it together you can then stretch it up and it creates uh, an object from it, at which point, um, you know, if this is your cliff face or something like that, that's fine. But if you wanted a cave, you can go to your inspector, right, and flip faces as a, if you have the object selected, not just like particular faces, but if you have the whole thing selected, you can do flip faces and it'll make an interior, which is also really useful. Um, the other thing you can do with the draw tools make like I don't know like you if you wanted like an organic or um, not organic but like more of like a building you can drag this out uh, make specific changes here and then drag that up and then let's put this back on a grid here cool so there's lots of little neat things you can do with these tools um, the last few are more scripting and art related, so we're just going to breeze through these real quick. Trigger volume, um, very common for using with uh, scripting things or spawning enemies when the player touches this box. You know, we can use this first little output here to trigger this enemy and turn him on. And um, the next one is a environment cube probe. We'll get into that later with a lighting tutorial, but they're very useful for getting correct lighting. If you notice that your lights or your rooms are looking flat and bright and gray, uh, this would be one of the reasons uh, not having this. And the last one is a damage volume, which is a sad phase. <laughs> and uh, this just, you know, if you look at the uh, property inspector here, um, you can see what uh, some of the uh, options here. So... 
that is the basics. Uh, thank you for checking this out with me, and we'll continue uh, with the next tutorial. Don't forget Window Inspector. Inspector is your friend. Always have that up when you're editing things so you can see what they do. Um, we'll make a room in the next tutorial, and we'll go into more depth what the inspector uh, does. So, cool. See you in the next two.